I'm Detective Inspector Gareth Jones, the Senior Investigating Officer responsible for Operation Murano, which was the investigation into the large-scale disorder which took place in the May Hill area of Swansea on the 20th of May 2021. Today sees the conclusion of that investigation in the events that shocked the community and attracted both local and national interest. Following the incident, a dedicated team of detectives were assigned to this operation. They were committed to ensuring we quickly identified and arrested the offenders. The rapid escalation, scale and widespread geographical distribution of those concerned presented an exceptional challenge for the investigation team. Whilst I accept that people may pass moral judgment on those present who are actively encouraging and jeering on those concerned, the investigation team had to focus on those actively involved in the disorder. As a result of community intelligence and committed police work, the first suspect was arrested within 24 hours, soon followed by many others, with a total of 44 arrests. There can be no excuse for the violent behaviour and levels of hostility demonstrated that evening and we must not detract from that. There was no rhyme or reason for the behaviour which resulted in significant damage to public and police property and assaults on innocent members of the public and police officers who were outnumbered and attempted to quell the disorder. Detectives painstakingly scrutinised hours of CCTV and media footage in order to identify the offenders and produce a thorough evidential package to the Crown Prosecution Service. The criminal justice system formed a robust response to the unprecedented challenges caused by the disturbance. The investigation team, supported by the Crown Prosecution Service and the Youth Offending Team, have worked tirelessly to ensure justice was served. As outlined in the footage, the lack of respect for the community and emergency services was despicable, and I am happy to see a positive outcome at court today. We welcome the guilty verdicts and prison sentences handed down to those responsible and hope that this will go some way in bringing comfort to those directly affected.